Hi everyone, I'm Nicole from Really Good Stuff and I'm here today with a STEM challenge that you can do with your children or you can do with your students remotely. So it's from our STEM challenge flip chart and before I get started, um, just so you know there is a link in this, in this video uh, that has a reproducible you can use that's just like the pages I'll be showing you in just a moment. Um, so let me get started here. Our challenge today is to build a bird's nest. So the reproducible will be of this page um, and you'll be able to print it out and follow along. It actually is in here if you want to see it. So it will be in black and white. Okay. And so our challenge again is to build a bird's nest. So all you need to do today is actually collect items from outside. So you might be able to do it today, you might have to plan for another day depending on the weather where you are. And I actually went outside and collected a bunch of different things like leaves, sticks, twigs, um, a lot of different things from outside. Unlike our usual STEM challenge, we usually use um, some different recyclables from inside your home. So the task today is using natural materials, create a bird's nest that can hold at least one egg. So it's up to you if you want to make that egg hard boiled to not make a mess, um, or you can use a regular egg because it actually will be outside when you test it, which we'll get to in just a moment. So here's some information for your child. Did you know birds use nests to protect their eggs and babies, also known as offspring? Birds use many natural materials that they find in nature. It's important that their nests are strong, sturdy, and located in a safe spot to keep their eggs safe. So we're going to go through the STEM steps, um, and starting with asking questions. So this is a really awesome time for you to help your child or your students um, learn the science behind why nests are created the way they are created, um, talk about why birds might make them the shape they are. So encourage your, stu your children or students to ask a bunch of questions and then you can spend some time researching. So you might research online, you might have some books around this topic. Do it, whatever works for you best, um, do it that way. And next, after you have all that information, you're going to use that information to imagine and plan what your design is going to look like. So I have this little notes area here in case your child wants to jot down some of their ideas and then they can draw their design um, on the reproducible that you can print out and then they can go ahead and start. So it's really nice to do this activity to get your kids outside right now since a lot of our time is spent indoors. Um, you can actually encourage them to find different materials than I found. You can do sticks, leaves, and um, you could have them collect some grass, maybe some flowers, different things that they think would make their nest the best it can be. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I ended up designing as I created my nest here. And I actually started with a large leaf as the base. And then I put my sticks in here in the center and tried to kind of weave them together so that they stay nice and sturdy. And the most fun part about this um, activity is that you actually get to test it outside. So you can actually take an egg and place it inside of your nest, put your nest inside of a tree outside and then leave it overnight. The next morning, you'll be able to see if your nest was strong enough to hold the egg. If you see that the egg fell out, then maybe you wanna try it again and make your um, design a little sturdier. If you actually had a successful experience, you can try doing it again anyway and see like, hmm, what can I do to make this better? Even though it worked, maybe this time I can try with two eggs or three eggs. So this is a really fun hands-on activity. I hope you get to try. Um, that is all for our STEM challenge today. Again, thank you for tuning in. We have a lot of free resources on our website. If you'd like to use them, feel free to check it out. And I will see you next week. Thanks a lot.